All right. Um, looks like we have a good group. I know. Uh, oh, yep. We got so for our mentors, we have uh, Grandma D. We have Miss Velma, and and we have Dane on behalf of our credentialing board. And then for our learners, we have uh, myself and um, Akima and Judy, Alisan, Cricket, Tim, and uh, Grandma D is uh, Aunt Carolyn with you. Oh, awesome. All right. Uh, so we got a good group to go ahead and get started. Um, so let's see. Uh, to get us started, um, hey, folks, uh, if you're able to, Beta, sorry. Hey, daughter. Tell my mom, daughter. They only get our things along the God, that's going boy, though. God, don't get, get on. No. Hey, Mohama. I'm Tom Gay on the dog. Get, get high on um, God. I get on the, get on the dog. Hey, God, the dog. They beg it on the end, high get on. I hold up my heart. The only, <clears throat> the only bell dog. They fell by the dog going on top, though. I'm Tom Gay on, though. I can't be the the daughter. Aho, over ho. Aho. Awesome. All right. And oh, and I see Kathy joins us, joined us as well. Um, so to go ahead and get us started, um, I'll first open it up and see if anyone has any questions. Hold on. I'm putting I don't see any questions at the moment, but if you think of something. Uh, excuse me, Melody. Um, I don't have a question. I'm just saying I'm here also on the Zoom with uh, Aki. I'm just I'm in the background listening. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Uh, so if uh, there's no questions at the moment, why don't we hear some updates from our credentialing board? So, Dane, I'll turn it over to you. Uh, so we won't have a meeting yet. I haven't really set a meeting, but our next meeting is actually just going to, uh, it's going to try to, uh, get a meeting with the museum so we can talk about the KCP tapes and being, being able to kind of open up the, open up the lanes to where we can get more of those, uh, KCP tapes, meaning the Kiowa Cultural Program tapes from the late 70s, early 80s, uh, where we can kind of free those up a little bit to where uh, those who are getting their teacher credentialing can actually uh, use those, listen to those, um, you know, have copies that they can listen to on their own time without having to kind of wait or go to the tribe to listen to them or anything like that. So I think that's kind of a big step right there because those kind of help with, you know, getting used to just listening to them all the time. And then kind of once we get to it, get around to uh, getting them to more people, explaining how you use them, uh, because that can, it, it, those can kind of be, uh, I would say those, those recordings when you listen to them, they're all pretty much 95% Kiowa speaking. Maybe sometimes more than that because they'll open it up and they'll just give you a little blurb uh, piece in English at the beginning of those recordings. But the majority of those 260 plus recordings uh, are in Kiowa with uh, different speakers on there talking about different subject matter. And uh, uh, it's really important that we get to listening to them. Uh, all of us who are teachers and teacher trainees get to listen to those as soon as possible because it does bring up a lot of questions. And also it just helps us be able to hear Kiowa and be used to the flow of how it sounds so it doesn't throw us off. And it'll it'll help our speaking ability too. Uh, 
we listen to those. So I think it's the that's probably one of the most important things right now that we need to get uh, moving and and out to all of you. Oh, ball. Oh, oh. Does anyone have any questions for Dane? Well, I don't have a question, but I just like to say, ah, oh, that's that's wonderful news. I've been I've been hoping like something that like that would have happened, and I'm glad to hear that it's in the works. Awesome. I guess I could say a little bit of update of something I'm doing in my class that is going to be uh, related uh, to some of our the stuff that we're going to be doing for teacher credentialing that I'll have to do with y'all. Um, in our classroom, we're moving away from the pronoun piece because it kind of proved the point over the uh, past six, seven years on that one. So since we got to move on to other stuff, I'm going to try some things out in our classes um, about once a week about teaching people how to translate because I haven't gone back to that in such a long time. And I know how to teach. I know how to teach it fast. Uh, I don't know how to teach it very well online. And that's why, that's why I'm going to try to figure it out so I can kind of help you all out too because we've got these Zoom sessions. Of course, talked about possibility of doing some in-person sessions too that'll help and maybe I'll kind of uh, get some of y'all's teachers to kind of aid that as we probably won't have everybody in person. We might have a few online and try to teach them how to do the grammar that way, but it's uh, really it's much easier in person. So uh, we may have to do some times in here, maybe during the semester over the summer and stuff like that, where we can talk about how to translate stuff uh, from Kiowa to English. I, I'm finding that out right away and just first two weeks of classes that translating with the glossary with the help of that glossary translating from English or Kiowa to English is much better than doing it the other way um, because you got the sentences that are correct in Kiowa for the most part hopefully everything is um, correct in there and then they're going back to English and trying to figure out okay what is it saying in Kiowa how do these English words in here fit to make sense? And so to figure out what's being said in Kiowa, that just uh, it looks like it's gonna it looks like it's gonna be better to learn that way. So that way we're exposed to how Kiowa people speak rather than what we want to be said in Kiowa. And that kind of comes with. Uh, Comes with other questions because everybody wants that English to be turned into Kiowa, but it's just better to get the Kiowa turned back to English first and get kind of get on that role to be put the Kiowa meanings and the Kiowa way of saying stuff first before you try to make English into Kiowa. I guess that's what I'm saying. And I think a lot of us already noticed that because we're, um, and, you know, we've gone through different processes of teaching, experience, and learning. And so we know how those questions kind of go, what the what kind of responses those kind of get, and how difficult it can be just to uh, try to um, try to translate from English. A um, lot of, lot of uh, movies and things are being translated on, on, uh, uh being translated to something like uh, i don't know like pray that predator movie or the echo movie or the kaiwa one that for the the tom hanks movie and how difficult and long the process that is a lot of times whenever they have people translate they don't to me they don't pay enough to do that because of how much time you're actually spending on trying to translate that kind of stuff they, they probably need to pay a lot more for the work you put into it uh, because it is that it is pretty hard but going from Kiowa back it just as far as learning Kiowa is just way more helpful and now I'm just mm -hmm. repeating myself on that one but uh, I'll, I'll try to figure out some things to do so I, I kind of adapted to an online format too so all right okay oh. 
Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's see here. Um, so I know we had a uh, the uh, in person, um, well, and virtual, I guess, uh, credentialing session uh, this past weekend. Uh, does anyone want to share any reflections from that session? Anything you just want to comment on or reflect on, or any questions that might have come up? Just gonna open it up and see if anyone wants to share. For the credentialing session? Oh, yeah, just reflections on the credentialing session from this past weekend. I really got a lot out of it. I liked um, studying with Carolyn and then taking the test and um, it was very helpful. We had three people get through the kinship on that one. So we were able to, uh, we were able to get through people through parts of the uh, credentialing process on that day, and they got to study in person with each other too, which is good. But I would suggest anybody that hadn't gone to the credentialing sessions. Um, go, uh, go to the credentialing sessions, even if you're not planning on taking a test, it's like time to watch other people take the test or study with uh, a partner. Um, and it is very, very, very helpful because your whole attention is on, you know, studying for that. So it's, it's really good to go. That's a good point. And there have been a number of people that have came into the last three sessions where uh, even if they didn't want to go through an interview or take a session or anything like that, they've got something out of it. And then some people, sometimes we sit there and, and try to coax you into going ahead and taking one thing or another. So a lot of times we'll convince somebody to take at least pass some part of the credentialing process too. So sometimes we'll try to get you to do it, but you don't have to. Uh, there's some people that went in there and just got good questions answered and it was better to we could actually focus on you better <laughs> we kind of split up on the inside uh, i might have missed it earlier but uh when is the next um uh, scheduled credentialing uh we'll have to decide on a direct date for that but it will be uh, uh may so we'll have two summer sessions a may one probably an august one okay Oh. And you know, one thing is it's like going over and over the study stack flashcards with a partner um i i feel like not only did i you know you know pass the test but but like like it committing more to memory um the kinship i i feel like okay i know more i think a lot of, a lot more of it committed to memory just uh, at least i hope so <laughs> And Carolyn jammed. <laughs> she did, she wasn't even planning on taking that kinship test, and and she did, and she was she did awesome.
Which test did you take, Ramon? Uh, the kinship one. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm driving. Oh. That was all that I uh, took. That's all that I had. Oh. Um, I'm going to upload some stuff uh, that I'm working on my classes. I don't know. Um, I got to figure out a way to actually work with this stuff in here. That's why I said I was going to try to figure out a way to work with the, some of the grammar activities and stuff where people are working together. And it's a little bit more interactive and you can confirm translations to things with speakers, which we may be able to do today. Um, but let me, I, I'm not complete, I haven't completed everything for the story, but I'm going through all of your stories on, uh, or all these stories, these stories that are converted to, um, uh, converted into the, uh, the, I think it's different styles of PMK. I haven't updated them all for, uh, for the Parker McKenzie, the, the modified version, um, so they can fit with that fit with the glossary but uh while i'm doing that i'm having to update the glossary too because you'll see at the end it looks a little bit different because i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to update everything on there and i don't know if it's going to let me send the glossary via here but we'll see if the pdf if that, at least the pdf okay so the pdf actually shows up um so if you're looking at the if you are looking at the the chat, that is a update of the glossary, although it's not done. I still got to finish some stuff for some other stories and things for the class. And of course, it's never really going to be done, but uh, it's updated at least to fit most of the story that I sent. So it says, being my story, of course, it's spelled with the agency spelling, but uh, it is kind of a kind of a historical document. Some people in here have seen it before and some have started translating it uh, in the past. Um, but if you really want to look at it, I would say maybe groups, of, because what I'm doing in my class, groups of teachers or groups of students in my class can actually start translating the story and they can kind of do it together and kind of each, everybody, what they'll do is they'll copy and paste directly from the glossary and find certain words for so it is color coded so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen to show you how that story looks so um let me go back to my kiowa stories converted which all of these have been switched to the same for just for consistency switch to the same and some of it hasn't actually been updated to the some of the current forms so the in so the nasal sounds kind of have that little curve through it instead of above it uh, which was my original tint earlier until i kind of got a consensus that more people want it above where they can see it and they wouldn't they wouldn't confuse it with, with some of the other letters so it ended up changing to the in above instead of in the middle of it so there's some things that haven't been uh, quite updated what I did do is color code it for you if you are translating the story. Um, then there'll be a vocal part of the story. I haven't made that yet, and I need to do that because my students will have to vo revoice the story this year. And there's a certain order that I want them to start uh, not really translating, but they're actually going to take they're actually going to take the uh, 
the definitions directly out of the glossary and make themselves a small glossary to fit this story specifically. So they'll make their own little story set with its own little glossary to help people to help themselves and to help other people uh, translate the story a little bit easier. So what they have to do first, and what I'm going to have them do in order, is I'm going to have them tra uh, get the definitions for everything that's in blue first. So they'll go into the glossary, and let me go ahead and open up a version of that. Uh, let me go back to where I was earlier. Okay, so I'll open up a version of the glossary. I've got this version right here. Um, they'll look for a definition. So say, for instance, right here for this story, uh, where it says, Nakoi guaho de, or Nakoi guaho de, de. So we're going to look at what ho de, de means whenever you say it. Um, so you'll take the glossary, you'll be using these two documents, and we're going to try to find it in here. Now, if you're doing this online, of course, everybody's going to, most people I will go to the right and drag, start dragging it like this. Because if you try to do it one little bit of time and do it this way, it's going to take you forever to get to that H. So we'll learn how to scroll using your little cursor right here and dragging it all the way to the H. Because my students will do this and uh, they'll, some of them will start out, it's taking me too long to get there. And they're just doing it one little click at a time instead of just dragging the entire thing there. Uh, so they'll look up the definition and go past it. So I, I passed right here. And I tried to get as many definitions where they're away from there. So right here. They have the entire definition for that word. Sometimes they don't have the entire piece to it. Um, and I'll take it, I'll copy it, which I know the hot keys to do it, but I went ahead and just did the right click. It means reportedly strung along traveling as a wagon train or a roving band. So that's Parker's definition that he had that we put into this glossary uh, to describe what this means to uh, what it means to uh, when you're talking about this word right here. And I took it from this because this is just the, the base word for it. And then we added the this other past tense. So it's its own entry right now. It could be set up in this format where it's like this, but found that for people harder for people to do. So eventually we'll have to take all these definitions and make them their own entries too. So that's going to be a process in itself. It's going to take a long time to do that. But uh, you'll take this, you'll copy and paste this and put it on a little glossary on your own or one that you share between your group, whether your teacher's uh, doing it or, or the group. Now, what you can do is work on this maybe off somewhere else or outside of these sessions or within these sessions in a breakout room. And it's like I said, it's it's going to be better and easier and more comfortable if you work in groups instead of trying to do it by yourself. You can do it by yourself. And some people like to work that way. But for a lot of people in here, you know, some people might struggle with what doing those translations. But I tell them, go ahead, because you're going to want to do st things in a certain order. You're going to want to go ahead and get and translate, not translate, but get the definition for everything in blue first. It's going to teach you how to translate Kiowa sentences where it's going to be most effective to you to understanding what's actually going on in those sentences. If you just take it and try to translate one sentence at a time, uh, at the moment, you might run into some things that are uh, going to make things a little bit longer. So anyway, um, that's one way I'm approaching it this semester. And looking up definitions is probably one of the easiest things to do. And it gets people to look at different sounds. Like if there's a blended D versus regular D, if there's a nasal versus the letter N, they can start to see that stuff. So in my classes right now for my Kiowa 2 that are translating the story, I didn't exactly teach them an alphabet and, and force the alphabet on them during that class. But because they're translating the story, now they're having to pay attention to the changes in there because they'll be looking in the wrong place for a certain letter. And I'll just go, when they're asking me, I can't find it. It's like, oh, okay, you're just looking in the, you're not looking in the blended D, Ds, you're looking in the regular D category and blended Ds and Ds are two different sounds, two different letters. So you have to go to the, to the blended Ds 
to find your word and not the regular D. Um, and it's making it a lot easier for them to figure out. And I don't initially have to actually teach them the alphabet. They're, they're just starting to pick it up as they translate phrases and notice that, okay, I have to pay attention to what this is. And later on, they'll, they'll voice the story, but that's that'll be later. But they don't actually translate it first. They're just going to take it one bit at a time. Like I said, when we go back to that, uh, I'm going to share my screen one more time. We go back to the story. I'll tell you what order I'm going to have them do it in. They're going to translate everything in blue first. Or not translate. I keep saying that. They're going to get the definitions on another sheet, on another paper. Definitions for all these things that are in blue for this whole story. And then everything that's in black, I'll leave the optional. You can look for those if it helps you with context, but it's not as important at the moment other than trying to get in, just clearing up your context there. The red part is going to be pronoun stuff, and I'm not going to move to that with my students until my to, until a group finishes all their definitions for the blue, because looking for the pronoun stuff is a whole nother process. So um, some in here may know how to do that already, but there is a process to actually trying to figure out what makes the most sense. So then you'll they'll have to start translating all this in there. But again, I have them copy and paste a glossary for these. So um, I don't know how it's really going to work in here. You can do it in here. Uh, you know, you can do the story and you can check with speakers to, to ask if this makes sense. Or sometimes you, you'll say this stuff to a speaker, some of these sentences in here, sometimes they use some older wording or some older combinations of words. And the speakers in here all, uh, can probably translate the entire meaning for, for you a lot better so you can put, you can put it together um, better so it makes more sense to you. Because you're going to be getting a lot of literal translation type stuff when you get the definitions and meanings, but sometimes the combination of different words can, uh, you know, it can change the meaning of what's being said literally in these sentences. So uh, just an update about that. Since I got that ready to study the pronouns, this is just another way to look at it. I mean, there's a shorter, easier ways to do this too, but it just depends on how we approach it. So. But I did add those to there. So if you, if you um, at seven thirty two seven and seven thirty three, I, I put that story up and I put the and a glossary update. There's going to be another update to that. Uh, if you came in after that period, you probably don't see it. So just let me know, and I can put it back up there. But uh, both of these documents are going to change really soon. So uh, this is just uh, one that you're going to look at that you can look at and you can work on it and you can start on it because my students already have, but it's not going to remain exactly the same. And that's just the way, that's just the way, it, that's just the way it works in a lot of these, a lot of these materials. So, all right. Oh, well, that's it. I just want to show you what I'm looking forward to as far as trying to get something for y'all to do when it comes to grammar type stuff, pronouns, things like that. And that's just looking ahead for the future. Oh, oh, that's super exciting. I like oh. the uh, color coding. Does anyone have any questions for Dane? All right. Awesome. Well, we appreciate those updates um, and look forward to hearing more and seeing the updated versions. Um, okay. So uh, let's see. Who's ready to study pronouns? <laughs> Does anyone have any other questions for any of our mentors or credentialing board before we get into some pronoun practice. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to remember what we did last week. Um, 
let's see, where would uh, you all like to start? I think we left off. Um, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm looking at our chat. Um, were we, we still doing the uh, long form level two? Anyone remember? Yeah. Learners? I don't, you... don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. Um, I think it was, I think we on pear or something. Was it pear? Apple yeah. Pear? Uh, plum. 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 <laughs> plum. Oh, yeah, plum. <laughs> Is someone able to share their screen? My internet is acting up. I don't know if I'll be able to. It keeps trying to freeze up. Uh, what were you using? So we were looking at the uh, the revised nouns PowerPoint. And then we had started to look at study stats to practice um, getting the familiar with the language that we need. That's kind of where we left off. Uh, does anyone remember specifically? Um, I have noun, pronoun, verb, long form, level two. And then, um, and then you pulled up the, um, that part down below the cards where you can see the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So like, let me see if I can. Like, and while you're doing that, I want to see if I can upload that little sheet. For... Okay. Oh, so this is it. Tell me if you. Can what I put in the chat. Oh yeah, that yes. That one. I didn't know if you wanted to do that or not, but that was the kind we kind of ended on looking at that. So um, what would everyone uh like to do? Because we could do it a couple ways. We can use that uh that little one pager sheet to look at and Kind of get familiar with the language that we need to use for those or we could just you know jump right in and try some study staff flashcards <laughs> and maybe you all have printed off your little cheat sheet uh to you know practice um what does everyone prefer any ideas suggestions was let me see we prefer any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I and, have uh, this one for, right here. For anyone uh, that is looking for that little one pager sheet, if you look in the chat, I uploaded the one that we download, the one that Cricket just showed on screen. I put that in the chat so you could download the PDF and print it off if you want. So this was the other thing that we had looked at. That's right. Yes. We were as the long, let me get let me make this go up higher. Um yeah, there it has it down at the bottom. So black, red for long form and blue, and then gold for plural, triplural. Tree plural. Human plural. Okay. Anyway, those were some of the that we were just looking. We've gone. Had we gone through this or just kind of looked over? No, it? we just kind of glanced at it because we were trying to figure out where the best place to start was. And I think last week we really kind of dug into talking about pronouns and how the pronouns and the nouns change. Mm -hmm. And understanding that. And then I think, uh, what was it? There was a suggestion 
uh, that we should all just memorize the uh, pronoun charts. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think where we are really needing is we need to somehow internalize the Kiowa, like, because for level two, we're going to see the English and we need to say it in Kiowa. So we need to internalize how to say the Kiowa versions of each of the sentences, according to the types. And like, kind of like help us like with the patterns that, um, that kind of come out when you start studying them. Oh. Um, and that and that helps you kind of memorize it better. But I was wondering if Dane, um, since the, you, you use this in your classes, maybe you could help us like, you know, study for it or, you know, tell us what how you do it in your classes. Uh, OK, um, we start with singulars, okay. straight singulars. OK. And. So, and we focus on shoe, dog, and flower first. Because if you get if you get those ones down, then the other ones are a little bit easier after that. Okay. But these are the one with the most information going on. So, uh, give me the shoe. And it doesn't have the whole English sentence. But it does it? I don't think so. I don't think it does. But if you go down a few slides... Let's see if there's any English. Okay, there's one. Is there a color coded? Okay, there we go. Something with the English. Right here. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And I I don't think I made a slide with. Uh, I didn't ever. I don't think I've ever made a slide with it where I took. Oh, I did. There it is, right there. Okay, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. So all you need to know is the word "tode." Uh, yeah, "tode." Segun and aki aki bot. Okay. You'll plug it in and then say whatever's in the one of them's gonna be right for the audio there. And again, when they do it, we focus solely on the left side first. Okay. Singular. So do singular. Okay. Now, what we may have to do online is go up to the one where they can read it. So is that? Oh, no, go, go up, go up to. Yeah, where it has the, where they can see the English and see what they're saying. And they, all they have to do is plug in the, plug in the noun to it. So for y'all, that might work out. Make sure it's the color coded one because you can visually see. Okay. They're different. So give me the dog versus give me the give me the dog, give me the flower, and give me the give me the shoe. So Tagoon a all. Yeah. All. So I don't know what Thode. I do I don't know Thode. Thode is going to be long forms, so you only have one choice now. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. So Thode ain't ah, and then I can got not ah. Oh. Okay. So we could just go through and have everybody just say that one. We'll take it one one at a time. Go and okay. Because some people are still probably going to wonder what's the long form. So we'll get to that. And we'll get to that. So if you're having a hard time with the long form and it comes to you, let us know and we'll try to explain it the best we can. Okay. So Thode. It, it just is always going to be short form, no matter what. Okay. Well, and then dual. Right? Yeah, but don't worry about that now. <laughs> yeah, okay. but it, it's a, it okay. is. Okay. Do you want to go? Okay, I'll pass it on to Melody because that's who's on my screen next. <laughs> Okay, sorry, which one are we doing? The singular? Yeah, yes, I'm just saying very top three give parts. Me the give, three me the, part. uh, okay. give me the flower. The flower is the only one that starts out in its long form. So flower is different. Dog and flower. Yeah. Dog uh, is in normal form, but flower is long form. Okay, so if I so I just pick a noun, right? Uh dog, flower, and shoe. Those ones. Okay, so uh so uh yeah. Uh, Thode 
Though they ain't on. Oh. And then let's see, I see Akima next. <laughs> oh, we'll have you go through all three of them. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, just across that whole row right there. Uh, just, then you just, go into dog, dog singular, and flower singular. Yeah, just that one. That oh, right oh okay. okay. Uh, so the nouns are changing. Okay. Uh, yeah. let's see. Uh, tsegun, ain't on, ain't on. Uh, and uh, aki got. Uh, uh, let's see. Not ah. Uh. No, no, on. Oh. Wait, was is flower mm. long form? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh. 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 No, oh. oh. Okay, I think. All right, so we're just switching out the uh, pronoun with that first. I mean, oh. the noun with that first one. Yeah. So, Akima and George, over to you. Ah. Oh. So they ain't on. Say good. A on. Oh. Oh. So they ain't on. Say good. A on. Our king got no on. Passing it. A. Hey, I can't see my screen. <laughs> Who's next? Um, let's see. Uh, how next? about Papa Ma? Kathy. Say goon. Uh, where are we? Not. Not on. No. No, 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 no. Say goon and on. Oh. Uh, let's see. What's that one? Um, flower. A king got nay ah. No. No ah. No. That's it. Uh, shoe. Oh shoot, do day. Uh okay. yeah. Is that not on? Would it be not on? It gets it's, it's short the, form all the time. Yeah, it's the, the one that's color coded black. Uh okay, so plural would it be the singular? Yeah, we're not going to plural. Singular. So ignore okay. plural and dual. Oh. Uh, and and on. Uh, oh. Uh, na nasalize in and on. Uh. Timothy. All right, I'll give it a shot. Her. Okay. Throw that. Throw that ain't on. Say good ain't on. A king god. Not on. Oh. King got, right? With a T? Yeah. So you can either voice the T or glottal stop it, which is what we normally do a lot of times in English to you know, say that. I say that. So okay. it's a little stop. Yeah. So it'll be a T or glottal, glottal, glottal stop T. Oh. I'll go next. This is um Alisan Kia De is my Indian name. Um Do De A on Segun A on Akin got not on. Oh. 
I think it skipped in your uh, audio. Yeah, I think his uh, his uh, sound went out. Yeah. It sounded like maybe you went, it went in the right order, but there was a little blank spot in there that uh, your voice got cut off. Oh, uh, but oh, to uh, they goon and on to day and on. I can got no on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So then, do we go on to? We want to have the Carolyn. Oh. Okay. So they ain't on. I can got no on. Egun ain't on. Egun ain't on. Egun no tray. No. Egun. It's just from Egun ain't on. Just a, I think, just a regular TS. <laughs> yeah, not the strong. Yeah, regular, not a pop TS. Okay. So then, then we go to the, um, my what is? Yeah, oh, so, but, but we're not going to go to that yet. We're going okay. to go ahead and introduce the other nouns there. So, oh, okay. Um, so we, we, uh, hopefully we kind of know the pattern. We'll still have some questions there. So okay. I'll give you the next three, uh, okay. the next three that have these other labeling. So what you okay. did was the default noun, which is the which is the shoe. You yeah. did a plant noun, which is the flower. Oh. Which are always going to be plants. So if you see something that's not a plant, don't get worried. It's just a category that's going <laughs> to deal with these. And then the animate. Uh, the animate category, which is the animate nouns. And you'll see them labeled in the glossary, noun animate or inanimate. Not mm -hmm. inanimate. See, that's why I don't like to use inanimate. The letter N, period, animate, <laughs> which is okay. noun animate. So, yeah, that's why I take that out because I think that, that it throws the whole thing off. Um, so, um, so, animate noun is a dog. Plant noun, flower. Default is going to be the shoe, which there's only like less than 10 words that fall under that category. Maybe a few more, maybe maybe a little bit more than 10. Uh, so it's not really a default. But um, so we got three others. We got plum, which is almost always in its long form, but you do have to treat it like a dual. You got house which is a, a, a noun singular, which is always singular, and then their shirt. So uh, this one will be, will, will be kind of open. So we'll have the first one. We'll do house. So we'll just pretend it's a little bitty house that you can actually give to somebody like a little toy. <laughs> so <laughs> give, give, me, uh, give me the house and anybody can answer this one. Give me the house. Now a noun singular like, doesn't have a long form, so that's always singular. Oh, and it's right? always singular. So ain't all. So ain't all. So ain't all. Yeah, if you got so ain't all. Huh. It's uh, that it should be right. Yeah. So I saw I heard a bunch of right answers on that one. Now we got something like shirt, dress, holda, which is a noun plural. Now I want to say, give me the dress, but can you use that singular side with it? And here's what you got to know about plural nouns. You can't use those singular pronouns. So you can't use it for this practice. So dress for the whole left side, you, you're not going to be able to answer it. You have to jump to the right side, which we're not working with right now. Would that so, be yon? Yeah, it would be yon. Okay. Yon. 
Like so just remember that stuff. you can't use it with any of the singular side for one dress. You do have to use it as plural because it's treated like one as far as pronouns are concerned. Okay. Uh, if you want to clarify, you can put a number in front of it or after it. Bago. Bago. Hold on. Okay. Is it like salt and would water be that too? Uh, tone, tone falls in the same class as house. It's a noun singular. Oh, okay. Um, so um, now we have the long form class where uh, whether it's you're talking about one or many, it's going to be in the red. So one or three or more, it's going to be red. So if we're talking about one plum, which is a long form class of noun, how would we say, give me the plum? Uh, like, uh, not on. Oh. And then the the extra one we have is tree and family. And there's ways to make family in these people terms and tribal terms. You can make them singular, but we don't teach them as singulars. We teach them as in their plural form because you have to put people after them. So if it was goegu, uh, in there and something like that and we wouldn't use it with this sentence anyway um if you say koi gu if you were to make that singular you can't make it singular by saying kaiwa you can't there's no equivalent to just saying kaiwa you have to say koi tali koi togu koi ma koi ki uh, to, to make a singular kaiwa you have to specify uh you have to specify things in there so there's no way just to say kaiwa you have to say kaiwa man kaiwa girl kaiwa baby kaiwa child and the same thing with state goop. You can also gonna hear it in that plural form. So we don't really teach that one when we when we do the plurals, but it would it would jump to that side and the family has its own in the blue. So um that's where Kiowas and family when you use them, it'll take on that blue pronoun. And that's all the way on the right side, and we're not focusing on that right now. So when we get to something like uh dress. Say we can't do it with a singular. If you want to, you can jump over to the plural side and say the right form, but you can also say on this one, you can't use it with, with this group. So we're gonna run back through. Just remember, plum is in red, house is in black, and dress, you can't do it with that side. So you can say you can't do it here, but you can use the black on the right side, on the plural side if you wanted to. So we're going to do the same thing again, but you're going to say, give me the shoe, the dog, the flower, the plum, the house, and the dress. Okay. All right. So uh, give me the shoe. Uh, to to ain't on. Dog Sagun ain't on. And then all king got not on. And then um all of got not on. And then house though ain't on. And then shirt or dress hold off yon on. Oh. Okay. Melody. Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ho. Oh. And then anybody who has any question is like, how do I know this? Um, until you kind of get used to the language, um, of course, you probably might not be able to just pull out of your head and figure out which one it is. So the glossary, the glossary is will be labeled. So if you if you have a uh, you downloaded the glossary, it'll tell you which kind of noun it is. If you're curious about classification. Oh, the glossary is super helpful. Um, Honda inside the thing. Uh, the uh, shirt is that the same as dress? Shirt, yeah. Or... okay. Yeah. And let's see, house. Uh, is that uh, uh let's see, singular? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't and have then, a form, it's just called singular. And then a plum is long form. Yeah. And then 
flower is long form also. Yeah. And then none, none of them are the tree plural. No. No, we're not going to plural. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and add tree anyway. Okay. We can do tree. It's going to be identical to doing flower. Rough right now. It won't do anything weird until we get to plural and it won't make a difference here. It's just gonna it's gonna be identical to flower for this first. Okay, so tree, it would be um ah or ah. Ah. Ah da. Ah da. Ah da. Okay. Ah da. Uh okay. Ah cool. Um uh, so they uh, uh could I say ye tho de ne on? Okay. Or if I just want one, I just say tho de ain't on. Yeah. Oh sorry. I, uh, can you say that one more time? I'm sorry. I, I, was, uh, I was uh I I was so uh I forget. So shu tho de ye tho de ne on. Yeah, okay. So you jumped over to the dual side, yeah. But uh, we're not doing duels just yet for everybody else who's out there. We're not jumping to duels yet, but she oh, did it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, okay, okay. Uh, So singular, Uh, so do de ain't on. Segun ain't on. Um, I can got not on. on. Oh. I la go not on. Uh, do ain't on hold the uh well can't do that that's not singular yeah so you could say you can't do it on the singular side and if you but want I could to say, on, you could say the plural if you wanted to hold the hold the yeah on oh and then um ah da uh, no, on. Oh, so. Whew. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna pass yeah. it. To... <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll pass it to is a uh, Papoma. Are you there? You're up. Ah. Uh, so, uh, let's see. So, also, um, uh, I'm cool. Segun and uh and off uh oh. we got uh I can got not nay off uh, no uh, yeah. no do day not off uh, that's right not off uh, do day and ah, uh, oh, uh, um, uh, I like ah, uh, and ah, uh, and ah. Uh. So the category is long form pronoun. So long form means red. Red. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I like ah, I like ah, no, ah, uh. Hold the uh, hold the uh, hold the uh, yeah uh, no yeah oh tell oh, yeah okay. okay yeah uh, uh so not uh do ne uh no uh, not too yet uh it is a singular which means it doesn't have a long form I mean it yeah. is a singular okay. class noun. Oh, so it's not dual. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not going to dual on this so, one. Uh, do a a uh. Oh, there we go. And then I do the tree. Uh, I do. Uh, it's like flower. Nay, uh, nay, uh. We're not uh, going to dual right now. Nah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. Let's see, uh, Judy here. Oh, oh, um, 
I'll give it a shot. I um, but I, I don't I don't know all the words, so um, but I'll say what I know. Thode on all on ain't on yeah ain't on ain't on thode ain't on segun ain't on oh I can got not on oh all I got not on oh. Oh, Dodo, yan on. Uh, say that for me, Dread. Mm -hmm. oh, say that for me. Oh, yeah. da. Oh, da. Yeah, hold oh, that. Okay. I think what's left? Tree? Yeah, I do. I do. Is not on. Oh. Oh, huh? Pass it on to somebody, Timothy. Timothy. Tim. <laughs> What's it? <it's> me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ma, that you guys go. Thank you, Ma. I think he called you guys. Okay. So <clears throat> they ain't on. Oh. Tegun ain't on. Oh. Aki got not on. Oh. Thode ain't. Thode ain't on. Oh. Hold a yan on. Oh. Ala got not on. Oh. Oh. Ada. Not on. Oh, huh? Okay. Do they ain't on? Oh. They goon ain't on. Oh. Our king got no on. Oh. All our got no on. Oh. Do ain't on. Oh. Hold on, young on. Oh. All the no on. Oh. Y'all gonna pass it on? Oh, yes, huh? Um, Alice. Oh. So they ain't on. Say good, ain't on. Progress. Our king got not on. Allah got not on. So ain't on. Hold on, y'all on. Ah, da. Not on. Are you going to pass it on? Who's next? Oh, I think Ooh. I see. Uh, oh. 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 <clears throat> um. Good dohin, Polly. Oh, <clears> though <throat> they ain't on. 
Akin got no on. Ado no on. Um, do and on. Alogo no on. Tagoon ain't on. Hold on, hold on. No, oh, forgot about that last those last two. Okay, so holda is actually a plural noun, so you can't really do it on the left side, but you can jump over just the plural side and, and use it on there. So you can't use the two plural uh, singular sentences on the left side, but you can jump over the plural and use that one. Is that the uh is that the black under plural? Yeah, or? yeah, because oh. uh, if it's labeled noun plural or noun singular, it doesn't have long forms, so you automatically just go uh to black. Oh, okay. So hold da ya on. Oh. And Courtney just volunteered yourself. I'm just kidding. So uh okay. Is there anybody next on? Was that everyone? Oh Carolyn. uh Carolyn. Okay. So then ain't on. Fagun ain't on. Akin bot not on. Alaga, no. Holda, ya on. To, ain't on. Ada, na on. Oh, so on uh, the next one, so we added those in. Um, so we can jump to dual now. So we can talk about two of these, th these things. So not everything can use the ne on in the middle. Huh. Dog can, shoe can, uh, dog can, shoe can, uh, flower can. Plum can, but not dress or shirt, and not house. House will stay consistent with singular. Dress will stay can stay consistent with plural. Everything else you can say nay on with. Tree. Tree, uh, trees like a uh, flower in this case. So, uh, you can you can you can make trees into. You can you can use nay on with it. Okay, all right. So, uh, first one is I don't remember, but okay. Segun nay on. Oh. Um. Tode nay on. Oh. Uh. What do we have. Ah. Uh, he. Oh no. I don't know if it's yeah or God. Oh, I can got nay on. Is that correct? Uh, you could use either on these ones. The pronoun will, will clarify it all. So you okay. could so um okay, so the next one is would tree be all nay on? Um let's uh so when I say odd all. Let's Nay check on. with our speakers. Is okay. it Adonéon or a Adonéon? For two trees.
if if we say um two trees uh give me two trees would we be saying ah oh, nay ah oh, or would we say ah da nay ah oh? Ms. Hergera? Is Mary in there? Say it again, Cricket, on what, what you're asking. Um, so I'm asking, how do I say two trees? Give me two. I do, or give me two trees. Yeah. I do, nay, on, or ah, nay, on. I, I would say either, or okay. either one. Either one. I don't know. I'm not. I'm modern Kiowa. <laughs> okay. I don't know I really. Don't. I don't know. Okay. okay. I don't know. All right. So then that was trees. What else do I have left? So, oh, all all gall. Wait. Wait, that one would be all all, nay on, right? Either or. Okay. And then uh, we cannot say dress, hold off. We cannot say doe, house. So I did flower, did I do them all? Yeah. So let's go ahead and see what do you do in the case of two dresses and what do you do in the case of two shoes so, so go back to the color-coded ones uh, i think i think uh, it got switched to the oh okay how did i do that uh it might be in melody uh, who, uh, who, who's got the powerpoint up i do it would have been me but um, okay don't, okay there we go yeah there we go okay yeah so i think okay so um what we have to do for um she sure lays down when you ask her she's got to go outside <laughs> okay sunny give me the two little house things you know we're just calling them little houses uh okay. give me the two houses uh you'll have to say the number but you have to stay with singular because it is a singular number. okay so i'd say ye so ain't on Oh. And then okay. come on, Toka. Outside. And then I would do the same thing with Thode, or do I or I can go ahead and do it? Because it's a default. I can do all I can do a dual. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, and then this what so then if I did two dresses, I would say ye hodl dog. Oh, party. Yeah. Uh. Oh. oh gosh. Okay. Go party. Right. Go party. Go party. Can you Go party. Somebody needs to mute. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I couldn't find the right button. Okay. okay. So everybody kind of got to see that one. Um. So we can go to the next person. If you got any questions, we'll we'll do it. But remember. House, you keep it singular, but if you want to identify two, just go ahead and say the number two both before it. Okay. So go ahead and do house, but but keep it singular. So tho, oh ye tho ain't on. Yeah, and ye okay. hold on. It's pronouns would go into plural and singular, but you can you could just say two and that'll clarify. Okay. All right. Melody, do you want to go? Sure. Can I just uh, get a quick clarification on um, what was it? The hold off, the dress, or shirt? Uh, it's always plural. If you have to put a number to it, just say the number before it. Okay. Okay. So we would say the uh, the far right column. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I hope. All right. Let's see here. Oh. I lost my chat. Let me go back up to the. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, we're doing the 
stool, right? The middle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, ye, the, not on. Okay, on this one, uh, it's it's the defaults cannot can go dual. Oh, whoops. Okay. Wait, which one did we? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think it's though. She said house. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. said yeah. House right, yeah. house is always singular. Okay, so if it's a noun singular or a noun plural, then it doesn't use long form. So. Uh... That's so that you can't. You're in the right. You're in the right area. It's just not a long form. Oh, so I could just use the. Wait, no, yeah. You do... said no. Oh, I said the wrong. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Do ye do ain't on. Oh. Woo. Okay. Uh, I can got. Uh, mm, mm, wait. Mm. Okay. Hell, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't. Uh, don't worry about the don't worry about the version of a uh, long. Don't worry about the version of the noun that you're using. It's gonna be dual, so that'll clarify it for you. Oh, so, okay, um, okay. I can got ne on. Oh. Do, do I? Can I say the number? For dual? you can if you want it to. Just to, I I feel like that helps in my head. I I don't know yeah. if it really does, but uh, ye I can got. Ne on. Oh. Ah, uh, ye segun ne on. Um, oh. Okay, so for tho day, uh, we said that's. Is that the one that's always singular? Also. No, it's default, so it can do all three. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, ye tho day ne on. Oh. Ye hold off. Uh, not ah. Uh. Is that the right one? The plural. Always plural. Always okay. plural, but never long form. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, ye hold the ya on. Oh. Uh, okay, so this next one is long form. So ye a la ga ne on. Oh. Yeah, cool. you use nay on with that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then uh ye ado nay on. Oh. Woo. Okay. Top coma. Over to you. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's and you don't have to you don't have to say ye with everything. The only one you'd want to clarify was is with house. You can say ye and dress, you can say ye. So everybody's following after just right. in case four words get overwhelming you don't have to say ye every time oh the, the nay part takes care of that uh say goon nay oh oh i can get nay on oh do day nay on oh i like nay on Oh. Um, I do ne on. Oh. Ye hold a not on. Okay, so um, if something's in that plural or singular category, like uh, dresses in the plural category, it can be plural, but it can't be long form, so you won't use the red. Oh, uh, okay, so it would be ye hold a Yan uh. Oh, there we go. So uh, uh, uh oh ye do in in uh. Oh. Uh. So, uh. Oh. So Oh. Right, and pass on the next person. Uh let's do uh Carol. I'll try trying to so it's two. Oh. 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 
So a lot of them nay all. <laughs> yeah, except for house and dress. House and dress. Yeah. House and dress. Uh, house is plural, but not long form, and uh, house is singular, but not long form. Fucking got nay on. Oh. Do they nay on? Oh. Ala ga nay on. Oh. Ito ya on. It's a singular noun, so jump over to the singular side and you'll have it right. Ain't on. Oh. And Ye hold a ya on. Oh. Ah, go. Ne on. Oh. That it? And then ah, da for tree, and I'll just, you just say the same thing. Ah, da. Ne on. Oh. All right. On to the next. Who, who's next? Carolyn, are you going to pick? I don't know who's next. Uh, go. I'll do it. Here you go. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> We're getting out of out of sync here. Okay. Um. Say good, Nea. Dode, Nea. Oh. Aki, got Nea. Oh. All the name on. Oh. All of the name on. Oh. Ye ye hold the ya on. Ya on. And um. Do ain't on. Or ye do ain't on. Oh. Oh ha. Are you gonna pick the next person? Uh, I don't know who's not gone. I'll try it. <clears throat> okay. Say goon. Uh, nay on. Do de nay on. Akin ga nay on. Ala ga nay on. See. Ah da nay on. Ye hold the um, ya on. <clears throat> and ye do a on? Is it a on? Oh. Ha. Um, cool. On to the next person. I'll go. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Say good nay on. Oh. Do nay on. Aki got nay on. Oh. All are got nay on. Oh. Hold a ya on. Oh. Or ye hold a ya on. Oh. Do ain't on. Oh. Ye do a on. Ah, da nay on. Oh. Okay, I'll go next. Oh. And then, uh, Courtney, if you kind of listen to what they're doing, if you were kind of listening in, if you want to go next after him, you should uh, go after him. I'll go. Say goon, nay on. Oh. Do day, nay on. Oh. A king got nay on. Oh. Allah got nay on. Oh. All da nay on. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to add the numbers to these. Oh. Ye da ya on. Ye do nay on. Oh. I'm not sure who's next. Okay. Say good, nay on. Do they nay on? 
อาคิงก็ในอ่ะอาลาก็ในอ่ะยี่ฮอลต้าอย่างอ่ะยี่ตัวเองอ่ะอาลาในอ่ะอาลาก็ Oh, I think already. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, who's on here now? Uh, Timothy left, right? I can go. Okay. Um. Yi to an on. Yi hold da. Yeah, on. Segu. Ne on. No. Akin go. Ne on. No. Ado. Ne on. No. Do de. Ne on. No. Ah. Let's see what's that list. Um. A lo go ne on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. So reading that chart, um, we'll look at something that uses the whole set, and that's the very bottom, just the basic sentences. Uh, my classes, I started getting away from actually using the basic sentences because when they get stuck in that, they think everything's like that. Uh, but it's always good to kind of run into them at the very bottom, at the at the very bottom of the chart. Um, we're gonna add in. This is probably gonna make more sense, so we're just gonna add in the uh goegu, which is Kiowa's. That'll be the only one that you have to uh have to add, and we're gonna do plural. And what happens is some of the stuff changed. So you knew tree and you knew flower to be in the red on the left side. Well, on the right side, they actually go with the, the black sentence instead of the red sentence. Now, dog will take the red sentence. Kaiwa is going to take the blue sentence and trees are going to take the gold sentence. So that's kind of kind of a tough one, but this has the whole set down there. So we're gonna say they are dogs, they are Kiowas, they are they are trees, uh, they are chews. We're just gonna go through the whole set with the first few people. If we ran out of time, then we had to go. Then we'll have to go. But uh, if somebody wants to try that one for the they are trees, is gonna take the gold. Kiowas is gonna take the blue. That's the difference. Um, flowers is going to take the black dogs is going to take the red house is going to jump back to the left side uh, uh, okay. clothes is going to take the black so we're at the very bottom now okay the very last one right the very last on the right side okay okay so uh Oh, and we're doing plural now? Yeah. Okay, so dogs. Um, these are dogs, or they are dogs. Okay. Yeah. So Tsegun Da. Oh wait. A Tsegun Da A Da. Is that right? Oh Tsegun Da A Da. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Tsegun Da A Da. Um, let's see. The next one, let's see. Um, um to uh to Oh god. Not long for you, so oh to day. Oh dear. It's not long form, so you don't have to worry about the other stuff. <laughs> okay. To day get off. Oh. Okay. And then to get off. Uh, it's a singular noun, so you will have to jump to. Sing oh, they, they, they. Okay. Uh, so, a doll. 
Hey, also, the singulars are niche, singular, but not long form. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I don't know which one it is. I'll go through all of them. Uh, singular. Yeah. Oh, it goes all the way back. Yeah, yeah, it goes okay. left. Okay. So, doll. Oh. Okay. <sighs> all right. And then, okay, give me what's another noun? Allah. So, like, pair. Um, uh, all all. So I'm just remembering this is always a long form. Oh, pair. Pair is always long. Okay. Yeah, it's a long form. All all golf. Oh my gosh. I got so confused. Okay. All all golf. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, it's long. Mm -hmm. oh. I guess a doll. Oh. <gasps> okay. What other noun do I have? Uh, dress. Um, total doll. Oh dear. It's always plural. Yeah, and never long form. And never long. Yeah, always singular and never long form. Always plural, never long form. I should actually label it like that. Allah. I mean, total doll. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Is it Geda? Oh. oh, this is hard. Um, What's another one? Family? Kaiwas. Let's do it with Kaiwas. Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll sound better. Okay. Um, Goigu Da. Uh, it has its own category, actually. It's oh, blue. it's blue. Uh, Goigu Ada. Oh. And then. Tree, this tree yeah. gold. Uh, yeah. this is the only place uh, so, the tree uh, so I doll. Oh, yeah. And then, what else do we have? I think that's it. We have shoe. Did I do shoe? Do uh, day. Do day. Um, I think you start. Do right. day. Yeah, doll. Oh. Did I do all of them? Oh. Okay. Woo! That was hard, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to do it, you know, well, let's do this on a volunteer basis right here. But I'm going to uh, jump in here real quick. For the left side, the way we did those top sentences, and you don't see the blue or the gold in the top side. So it really just, uh, it really, uh, it stays with that pattern. So if you're really trying to learn uh, nouns, you would do one line at a time and get that until you get it down. Oh. Because this whole chart right here actually takes care of uh, actually takes care of uh, everything that you have to do. And all you're doing is plugging those nouns in. So it can all fit onto one thing. If, if you don't put the nouns in, you could fit your, everything you're being quizzed onto one, one uh, page, which is like this. So it's, this it's, is the page that we're getting quizzed on. Yeah. Okay. It shows up throughout the whole thing, but you got these long charts and these different ways to look at it. This one has it condensed into one. Okay. Ooh, that one's hard. I think I'll try. Oh. Uh, they are dogs. Segun da, a dog. Oh. Oh. And then house do uh, da. Oh. Um let's see. Allah ga a da. Uh let's do a tongue. Uh we'll go to tongue because this is where things get real crazy because um uh, this uh for the most part, except for the blue one, it goes all over tongue. The Allah go a da. Um, some hey. when we get there, some people will go high on it and it goes kind of low, a doll, and then it goes back up. It's kind of uh weird because they all go down in tone. Okay, so, I love go a doll. Just when you said that, my baby dropped their they dropped their toys. I love go a doll. I kind of went low in the that pronoun. I love go a doll. Oh. Hold on, yeah, dog. 
uh, down on it. Hold on, get dog. Hold on, get dog. Oh. Yeah, dog. Uh, uh, this one you can go high on it. So this is the weird one, the the blue one. It actually goes up. Ah, dog. Goigu ah dog. Oh. And then ah dog. Oh. Toa toa. Yeah, it is a little bit of crazy one. That was good. Get ah get. <laughs> okay, I'll try it next. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to get it. Um, let's see. Say goon da a da. Uh, go low on the pronoun a da. Say goon da a da. Oh. And down down. Do day ya da. Oh. And do da. Oh. All aga a da. Oh. Hold da ya da. Oh. And um, goi gu a da. Oh. And a da. Oh. I'll try next. Oh. Say good. Let's see. Um, let's go with you around red, right? Uh a daw. Oh. So this one. These ones are all tricky. You got to go down low on the pronouns. Oh, for everything dog. except for blue. So a doll. A doll. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay. So, uh, so uh, do de gya da. Oh. Uh, a la ga a da. Oh, uh, a da. Red. Red on red. Uh, a da. Uh, a da. Blue. So, <laughs> a, uh, oh. a da. And then low. And I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, put this really quick. Um, this is English I'm putting on here. This is not Kiowa, but, um, let me, oh, somebody. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this to kind of help with this one. So go ahead and say what I just put in chat. How do you say that in English? That is an English little interjection. Hey Ta. Uh, aha. Yeah. Aha. This that's how these pronouns tend to have this uh, that little inflection. Hey da. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, a da. Except, oh no, it's oh, a no. da. Oh. Red. I log a hey, dog. Oh. Hey, dog. Hey, yeah, we got to get that. We got to get that down. Yeah, just bit. think of aha. Uh, uh, okay. Now we say koigu, it's going to, it's not going to do that. So that's the only one that throws people off is when we get to Kiowa's. Koigu a dog. Uh, koigu. Koigu a dog. Oh, and everything else is going to do that other way. Aha, uh -huh, the aha uh -huh part. Uh, uh, Okay, I gotta practice that one. Hold a um, hold da, ya da. Oh. Um, da. Uh, no, do da, do, do da. Oh. Okay. Uh, a da, da, a da da. Uh, let's see. Uh, You're saying trees, uh, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, plural form for trees is ah. Uh, ah, uh, da. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Uh, it's just ah, uh, and then you say uh, what can go. Okay. Ah, uh, da, da. Ah. Uh, well, no. Ah, uh, da, da. Okay. Uh, I forgot to say that. It's like trees. I forgot to tell you, if anybody didn't know, when trees goes plural, it loses its long form. And so, you, you, Cut off the da after. Oh, okay. Which is ah. So ah da. Oh, there we go. Ah uh, da. 
Okay. Hog. Hog. Tag. I'll try it. Um, I, I need practice on my um, stresses. Um, yeah, just think most of these are like saying, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, hey. except for Kaiwas. When you do Kaiwas, then you'll just go with your regular. Ha. Ong ko. Hmm. Segun da. E da. So think, uh ha. -huh. When you hey, do that. Da. <laughs> um. Segun da. E da. Oh. Do de. Ye da. Oh. Do da. Oh. Ala ga. A da. Oh. Hold da. Ye da. Goi gu a da. Oh. A da. Oh. Okay. Ha I can go. <clears throat> I will go. Oh. Uh, ko. Segun do. E do. Oh. Do de. Do de. Ge do. Oh. Do. Do do. Oh. Ala go a do. Oh. Holta get do. Oh. Go a do. And this one you can go high on that one. This is the weird one. It doesn't follow that same. Go go a do. Oh. At at all. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Those are hard. So that good don't he tell you think your last one might be last one. Oh. <clears throat> oh they get dog. Oh. Hold da get da. Oh. Do da. Oh. Ah da. Oh. Alo go a da. Oh. Tegun da a da. Oh. Koi gu a da. Oh. So that. I feel like I on that one I like stretch that ah too long. Because I think of the story um, or the opener, Aki Day, and I want to make it that quick, ah, but I don't want to do it too quick, also. Yeah, and that is a good example of it, too. If you heard that, there's some of the stories when you hear the voice, Goi Gu Aki Day, those uh, pronouns do kind of run into the next word pretty fast, uh, but you can still hear them. Uh, with some of the speakers, if you hear the KCP tapes, uh, sometimes they're saying the pronouns, but if you're not used to hearing them, they're there, but they say them so fast that you, if you listen closely, you can actually hear them saying these little pronouns in there. But this is the basic setup whenever you're trying to study for these. Um, I, I know that I was asked earlier, do what you do with your class. Uh, I was kind of winging it. I never did it this way with my class, but I think for online, uh, I think it worked out well because everybody got to hear each other and you got to focus on the pattern of the nouns while using sentences you've already used before, but you got to actually focus on how the nouns work and made it easier to explain. So uh, that's that's kind of how this works out. So if you want to practice that way, it looks like it's a good way to practice. Like I said, I never did this, did it this way. I was, I just, I just kind of rolled with it when I started with the first one. So, oh, ball. Oh, uh -huh. I think this is so helpful. Really exciting. Starting to uh get more familiar, you know, but it's a it's a work in progress. So I'm proud of everyone. 
Um, uh, so it is nine o'clock and we're a little over time. So uh, is this a good stopping point? And then uh, I think one thing that I'm gonna try to do is make myself some of those uh, spaced repetition recordings that we talked about last week to help study. So, and then I'll post this recording tomorrow so that everyone can, if you need, if you wanna go back and re-listen to it, you can. So we're moving, moving right along. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's see, before we close up, are there any like final questions or comments from anyone? All right, uh, let's see, um, Miss Velma, are you able to close this up? Fade outside. Oh, oh, cool dog, doggy, dog, I beg your dog, your more dog, he's dog. doggy. They own the get all things on ya. Go, uh, go, I don't get all. Uh, uh, thank you, Heavenly Father, for thy grace, thy mercy, thy unconditional love and compassion. Thy faithfulness, thy forgiveness, and thy healing power. We're so thankful for the many things that you've blessed us with. Uh, get oh go. Um day hoy goi kakomba. Beta do de ka I got the to yi to ampe do tabo kima oi be. They own the cook the dog or the tie dog or the tado, they go in dark. I got the opegu, a toy to unpaid of dog. They would take cook the tado, the dog ego. I got the toy to unpaid of dog. Thank you again for thy blessings. I'm thankful that you have taken care of us during this. Um, Cold, cold weather. Thank you. I'm so thankful that we have this opportunity to to meet uh, and uh, study our language, to learn uh, our Kiowa language and improve our Kiowa language. Thank you for each individual that is uh, participating you know what their needs are bless them lord bless each person physically mentally emotionally spiritually heavenly father and those who were not able to participate uh bless them also once again i thank you heavenly father for thy blessings amen Um, uh, I know we're finished, but may I ask a question right quick about so, about something? Okay. <laughs> I need to find the word about an eyelash, about about how to say eyelash. And I wasn't able to find it in the glossary or anywhere. Could anybody help me with that? Eyelash and uh uh jaw. Catherine, Catherine, are you there? Ah, uh, I know your name is Dapa, right? Ha, huh. okay. bushy brow or something with the brow. Dapa, yeah. So, uh. That's all. I, that's the only word I ever heard through the years because I knew that woman's name. That's her name. Oh. And so, I don't know if if it includes your eyelashes. And but anyway, that's Stop. all. Yeah. Okay. I told your eyes. Stop. Oh. Could, be, could be your eyelashes, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know 
Exactly. I just knew that that was her name. I knew. I saw her. I know who she is. And then the other one was a jaw. That one you'll have to. Did you look in the glossary? Uh yeah. There's. I didn't see anything in there. It was uh, very difficult to try to find, even to search it. <clears throat> Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh oh. I don't. To be truthful, I know that I I know there's a word for it, but I and I don't know it. Okay. Okay. Somewhere. Uh, thank you, Mom. Uh, so Franny Tonkame is the one that had Tapoma, and that's how they pronounced it, Tapoma. And that's how I was told to pronounce it. And it meant loose terms as they said, hairy or bushy eyebrow. Uh, well, that's all I know. I mean, that's what I was told when I gave when they gave me the name. Okay. I knew her as Tapa. That's what Tapa. Ma. Tapa. Ma. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that Tha, that Tha, it's, uh, that is consistent. That is uh, consistent with what I saw in the glossary for eyebrow or, you know, the rest of it, the eye area, like, you know, so. Okay. Oh, All right. Like, well, I can't find jaw, so we'll we'll make it work. It's language spelled, fair questions. <laughs> and she spelled her name like I spell it here with the hyphens. So okay. that I, it's on her gravestone. So. Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, huh. Hey Kima, this is Kia de Alisan. Um. I was thinking, you know, you just asked that question, but I was wondering, um, maybe back a long time ago, was there a word for every single thing? Maybe they might have just motioned. I, I mean, that may be mm -hmm. a dumb question, but. Yeah, maybe it covered multiple things, you know. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. I was just wondering that. I was like, did they have a word for every single thing back then? Right. I don't you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a possibility they may have just motioned to the eyelash and not yeah. really for it. I don't know. Yeah. Could it be? Could it be hmm. I Tha Paul. Pa. Tha yeah, pa. like this. Oh, hold on, let me write it. Um, the P A U L. Oh, darn. I wasn't writing. Okay, bracket D A or strike through D A P A U L for oh. eyelash. Because I have, or that might be eyelid. I think that's eyelid. I don't know. Oh. Eyelid. I don't know if it's eyelid or eyelash. I have an arrow and I can't tell if it's pointing <laughs> to an eyelash or an eyelid. I can send you that picture that I have though. It's something we did at Grandma Dorothy's class a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but I have Betel Tame for uh, chin. Chin. Yes. Meaning lip bone, but like chin, I guess that could be jaw too. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds good. We were going to use probably use that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da Paul. Da Paul. And I don't know if that's eyelid or eyelash. Ah, Paul. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Also, they get tired. On page one fifty-two. Did you, did you look on one fifty-two in the glossary? It's got jawbone now. Plant. Oh well, no, I because I I searched it. I I typed in, you know, Control F as in frog. Control F. And then I was not able to find anything. 
So how did you find it? How did you know to look there? And I thought I typed, you said you used John and I thought mandible, but then oh. uh, uh, I typed in John, it came up as on page 152. Really? Sega. Balton Sega says nail plant jawbone. Balton Sega. Wow. Balton. I want to see it. Can you put it in the chat or let me see if I can. Yeah. I, I, we can't, you know, our computers completely de it's dead it's completely gone and we're going to hope and pray we didn't lose everything that's on it so we're going to try to get it fixed so we can't access anything we're roughing it so i can't look on the glossary uh my phone's got too much memory to look at any glossary but george's does but you know i can't really look i can try to share my screen i think i have it pulled up it's in 22 glossary 22 oh glossary. Yeah. I can't find my chat. To, to can you see this? In. Here's the chat. Okay. You can you guys there? see that? Oh, I just saw it, but it went away. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Back. There you go. Okay, okay there it goes. Take a picture just like that. Mm. Uh oh. Bell, bell tone sega. Jawbone. Bale Tone Sega. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, I hope. I wonder if you could do eyelash. Thanks. Okay, Thank you. Let me try. Somebody try eyelash. So, Aunt Carolyn, what did you type in? <gasps> there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh and then she found eyelash. Hey, that is. I was, that was. It was pointing to an eyelash. Awesome. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Okay. We're talking about eyelashes. Is the pole? Okay, that's cool. Oh, okay, yeah. If you're Cyclops, eight. if you only have one Here, eyelash, I'll put these. <laughs> I'll put these in the chat. I'll go back to the other one so that. So. <laughs> So, so Aunt Carolyn, what did you type in to find jaw? J A W, and then jaw came up. Oh, you know what? Maybe I was looking in. No, I was looking at school in my on my computer, and I I'm pretty sure I looked in the twenty two glossary. Huh? Maybe I don't. Maybe I was long day. Hey, maybe I missed it. Maybe you put J A H, <laughs> but J A W W. <laughs> G A W. <laughs> oh. In the PDF instead of Google Drive, sometimes I awesome. having long eyelashes. That's hoss. And now oh. you know. <laughs> I would knew it was in there. I was like, it has to be in there somewhere. And then well, someplace I see can. I'm determined. I see there, Chin. It was right below Jabba. Bail okay. came. Oh, hold on. Um, okay. Chin. Oh, it's right above. Okay. Oh, right above it. Bail came. Bail is your mouth. Okay. Yeah, I think it like literally means lip bone. Okay. Okay. I hope. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then you know the peach fuzz hair that's on your skin. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> you have a name for peach fuzz. 
<laughs> or goose pimples. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a name for goose pimples? No, no, goose pimples with peach fuzz on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh. <laughs> well, bell paw, another word for white man, bell paw, hair on their mouth or face. Hairy lip. Bell paw. Bell paw key. I mean, that's a white man. Maybe mustache or, yeah. What about, um, Saint Paul Gaul. Saint Paul Gaul is whiskers. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, whiskers. Like cat whiskers or human whiskers? Both. Whiskers. Any whiskers? I have a question. Saint Paul Gaul. Yeah, my uh my grandma would tell us that. Every time before we get out in the arena, right, go shave your Saint Paul Gaul. <laughs> shave your whiskers off. So is that how you spell it? Is that correct? Um, Butohi Tali. Saint Paul. Aho, Miss Velma. They good. They thought. Um. You know that name um, I was looking up in the glossary that I was looking for the, the whisker, I mean the <laughs> the jaw and I found um, the the long name, the true full name for Bilo Bilo Kozad of course it was you know it's not used to my knowledge now but uh, but it was pretty long and it had a reference to the ma the mouth. Huh. Grandma, do do you know what that name? What that no. name? Hmm. Oh, I was know. Curious. I was curious because it didn't have any explanation. <laughs> okay. Here's your phone. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, we're gonna go tend to our babies. They go buy all iPhones. Ah, good session. I learned a lot. Ah, oh, they go buy all oh. iPhones. Ah, oh. ah, oh. oh. they go buy all iPhones.